We are going to be doing a one versus one fish guy Chris versus fish guy Jack fish shopping challenge for the giant saltwater pond. We are each going to have a specific budget, go our separate ways to two different fish stores and see who can buy the best fish. Now let's see who really is the king of fish shopping. Me or Jack, you guys are going to get ready to vote down in the comments. This is going to be a big competition. Who will win this challenge? Let us know in the comments. Let's jump right into this video, go to the stores, and get ourselves some fish. Now most people do boxing fights and MMA fights. Me and Jack do fish, fish shopping. Fish shopping. Fish shopping battles. Baby. Fish shopping battle right here because we like going out and getting new fish in this pond. You guys are loving this pond. It's coming along so nice. The fish are doing fantastic. Like I've always mentioned before, anytime I come out through that mm. door, they're all waiting for me right here to feed. So let's give a quick update on all the fish in the pond. Last time we got a ton of fish. We got the Emperor Angel, which was my personal favorite fish for that video. We got another fire fish. We got another angel fish that was like really small. And we got this butterfly right here who is doing phenomenal. All of them eat like crazy. I actually got them that, that lettuce stuff that I clipped to the glass. No one was really a fan of it. No, really? Only the butterfly fish wanted to eat it. These fish actually, I would say they eat more than pots and pans. <laughs> Shout out to Pots and Pans if you're out there watching this video. These fish are dogs. Just put a couple pellets in there and watch these guys go nuts. Of course, we feed them in every video before we actually start filming the video because you guys love seeing these guys eat and, and how good this pond is. I mean, look at the cleaner ass. Too thick boy. That cleaner ass is thick. Oh, here comes the emperor. Look at that emperor. That emperor is freaking gorgeous. The, the marbling awesome. on that thing is crazy. There's that rare firefish. That's not the OG firefish. That's that is a purple, purple head, dude. Purple head firefish. Did he even eat anything? The clowns all like to hide in this corner, so which is kind of unfortunate because they don't swim along the glass like all the other fish. So they do come out to eat, but they all hide in this corner right here for some reason. Super annoying. As you can see, even the mollies, the very first fish we added to the pond, doing phenomenal, dude. It's crazy. All the fish are doing so well. Shout out to Misfit Dan7339 for this video idea. Last night we were scrambling, like, what should we film tomorrow? I actually have, I, I'm not gonna watch those because Brooke's on FaceTime. Right here. It's hilarious. And all of a sudden I go in our comment section and we see your comment right there. So, Misfit Dan, we're filming this video because of your comments. So, everybody watching this video, if you guys have any video ideas, leave it down below in the comment section. We will shout you out if we choose your video because honestly, this video is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Good luck. No rules in this game except can't go over budget and get yourself the best fish with the budget you have. You can get 10 fish, you can get one fish, doesn't matter. Let's see who comes home with the best fish. Let's get in our cars. It's time to go buy some fish, people. I've got $200 to spend. Fish Guy Jack strategy. Let's take a look here. We got $200. Buy as many fish as humanly possible. All right, that's the plan. We're gonna head to the fish store right now. Let's take a walk around. Let's really analyze our options. And then we're gonna make some decisions. Let's boogie. Now this is a challenge video, right guys? This is a full blown fish shopping challenge, Jack versus Chris. And, and as you guys watch this, I want you definitely to keep your minds open, really focus on who is gonna win this challenge. I think I'm gonna win it by a mile because I have adopted, this is the strategy I'm adopting. You guys ready to hear this? I am adopting the spend my entire budget on one fish. That's my, that's my method right now. I'm gonna spend my entire budget on one fish. I'm gonna try to find the best fish in the store and just get that specific fish. I'm not gonna try to you know, get four or five fish. I wanna get one fish, spend my whole budget on the fish. I'm gonna try to stretch it a little bit, try to wheel and deal in the store. If there's a fish that's like, I don't know, 300 bucks, you think I can get it down to my budget price? That would be the goal, but I'm not sure what Jack's strategy is. I'm going with the spend every single dollar that I have on one fish. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think it's gonna pay off. I think that's, I think it's gonna be the one. And you guys gotta decide. I'm not gonna tell you what fish I'm getting until I unveil it at the end of the video, but we're definitely gonna, we're gonna go into the store now and we're gonna shop around and we're gonna see what they have. I just, you know, hashtag team Chris down in the comments. I don't know what Jack's saying right now. He's in his, and his, he's in his own car going to his own store. I'm going to my own store. I don't know what he's saying right now, but if you guys are team Chris, hashtag team fish guy Chris down in the comments. And then we'll just, we'll see who wins. Uh, we'll see who wins this video. But I'm pulling into the store now and I'm thinking, let's hope they have a banger in there. I'm gonna try to get a deal on something. Let's hope they have a banger in there. Whole budget, I'm leaving the store with one fish and it better be, it better be an awesome fish. So let's see, it's not up to me right now. It is up to the fish store. Hopefully they got something good. 
You just can't go fish shopping on an empty stomach. Let's take a look at what we got inside of here, y'all. I went a little different. We got fries. That's always good. Mmm, look at that Chick-fil-A sauce. We've got an eight count nugget and we've got one of those wraps trying to go a little healthier. Let me eat and I'll see y'all at the fish store. All right, I'm walking in now. Let's get my game face on. I'm ready to just buy a banger fish. We're in already. That might be a banger right there. Now in this store specifically, they had some really cool stuff. I had to do a voiceover here because they were playing music in the store. So obviously you can't put music on the YouTube video. So we are gonna have to voice over this. They had really cool stuff, really rare tangs, like the yellow tang. We always talk about it, literally $500. I think this one actually was like $750 in this tank right here with the purple tank. So they definitely had some really cool fish. They actually had, which was super surprising, I thought this was a rock at first. They had the rhino fish that I got for my tank on the Fish Guy Chris channel. That really weird, strange looking rhino fish. They had one of those guys for 300 bucks. So definitely way over budget, but this video does not do this fish justice. He was as big as like a Yeti full-size tumbler. Like the tumbler, the fish guy tumbler on shopfishguy.com, that is 40 ounce tumbler. He was like the size of that right there, which is absolutely insane. This fish was massive, way bigger than, I, than, than it shows on camera, trust me. They also had some really cool eels, a bunch of little small clownfish, a bunch of really cool fish, but there was one fish that stuck out to me and he was perfectly right on budget, maybe a little over, but I think we're gonna have to do it and pull the trigger. You guys haven't seen him in this video yet. I'm not gonna show it to you, and you're gonna have to wait until you see him back in the house. So let's get our fish and take him to the saltwater pond. We've made it to the fish store after quite a journey. We have arrived, let's go inside. $200, baby. Let's see what we can get for 200 bucks. We've got this whole entire wall right here and right here to pick through. Look at the size of this baby French angel. That little guy right there is a little sparky look at one oh, Antheus. We gotta keep an eye over here though, folks. We don't have much that we can spend. Oh, there's a beautiful sailfin tang right there. Another fox face. More Antheus. Maybe I'll get like a couple Antheus and then I don't know. There's some other fish inside here. A little puffer fish right there. That guy is really dang cool. Ooh, we need yellow. Mimic tang. We need some yellow. Mimic tang? Oh. Tang? Ah, just 90 bucks. Don't know if we'll be getting that guy, that's for dang sure. I could scoop up this firefish right here, get a firefish, and then maybe a cool clownfish like this guy right here. Anything bright with a lot of color is gonna come with a price tag, so we gotta just really strategize here. Clownfish, firefish, things of that nature. Ooh, wait, look at this bird grass. Unless I just send it on this thing right here. That thing is cool. Look at this zebra moray. Let me see this bird grass. 200. The whole entire budget, one fish. I don't know, that might not be a good strat there. Ooh, this is a beautiful looking trigger. Everything inside of here has got to be well over $100 easily. Hey, Dories. They are fast. Look at these Dories. Maybe we pick up a Dory. Let's see. Come on. Dory. 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 Not on here. It's free. Oh, Hippo Tang right there. 100 bucks. We got issues, y'all. We got issues. Even these clownfish right here, $100 each. I am going to have to do some some serious shopping here, shopping around, doing some deal hunting. See if I can find anything here. I'm trying to walk out of here with like five fish, so let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got my fish. I bought one fish, a single fish, one. He's big, he's gonna look awesome in the pond. He's easily the biggest fish in the pond. And don't tell Jack or Brooke. Seriously, I know Brooke's gonna edit this right now, so just don't tell him, but I went over budget by $14. I feel like that's allowed. I don't know if I'm disqualified or not, but don't say anything to anyone, okay? It's our secret. 14 bucks over budget. Let's just get home. I think this is gonna be the winning fish. I, I put it all into one fish. I gotta get home. I gotta start acclimating this guy because he is in a big bag and he's a big fish. So I don't want him to be in a bag for too long. So we gotta get out of here. And uh, I think I won. I already think I won. We're heading back now, folks. <sighs> Ran into a bit of a problem there. They were super low on fish. The guy literally said, if I had come back two hours after I got there, they were getting a huge shipment of freshwater fish. So that totally sucks. We did our best with the budget we had. Let's go see what Fish Guy Chris has. So, let's see you at the pond. We are back. <laughs> Woo! I think I won this challenge by a mile. But I'm a little worried. Breaking, <laughs> are you? I'm so confident, but it's up to you guys. It's up to the audience. I mean, really, Brooke is the gonna choose at the end of the video, but I think the audience gets a majority vote. Majority, down, yeah. Down in the comments, so. Brooke can only, you know, maybe lean the audience certain direction, but yeah. the audience can do what it wants. Yeah, the audience can choose down in the comments, but I may be disqualified, and that's up for debate in the comments because I went over budget $14. $14 exactly, guys, not a cent. Whoa, whoa. It's not even that big of a deal. 
That's a big deal when I didn't get a third fish. I know, Jack. Jack told me he went under budget big time because he wanted to not go over budget, and I said, screw it. I got budget. screwed. I The fish store I went to, I told you guys, really was low on fish. It doesn't matter. And you could, yeah, you love the fish you got, dude. I like the fish I got. It's 1v1, man. This is, I like the fish I got. This is a battle. This is a battle. So let's jump right into the fish. I'll start with mine. We're saving mine for last, because I, I know I'm going to win, baby. <laughs> Jack, please take your fish one so, at a time. Uh, yeah, I've got two fish well, here. Yeah, but you're gonna show me both off rip? Like, no, I'm gonna show you one at a time. I'm gonna start with the one that I think is not as good as the other one. Okay, okay, right, sounds so good. So my first fish right here is a fish we don't have inside of the pond. Look at this guy right here. That is a okay. spotted hawk fish. Okay, I'm a big fan of the hawk fish actually. It's a little tough to see him, but I'm throwing it back to the OG days where we had a all pink hawk fish named Pinky. So when I saw this guy, I was like, you know what? He's in my budget. I can get this guy right here, and he'll perch up on the rocks and be like a bird. No, I get that. They have a special place in my heart. Hawk so, fish. spotted hawkfish. Yeah, we're gonna get him in the bucket. You guys are gonna see him just perch up. Real nice. Fish number one for Jack is the spotted hawkfish. Okay, I'm a fan. Check that guy I'm out. I'm a fan. He's, oh, he's got some good colors. He's pretty. Look, he literally just, he can't help himself but perch like that. I'm trying to get him on his side, but he literally just wants to perch. Well, my opinion on him? Yeah. Horrified sand perch. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> glorified, glorified sand perch is, is yeah. my first fish. That's so it's not a spotted hawk, it's just a glorified perch. Manager Brooke literally just said in the background, glorified sand perch. That's a bad thing, Jack. We can get those for free right at the dock. That's a good start. Good bad start for, start for Jack. Good start. Yeah, but your second fish. Glorified perch. Who knows, my next fish might be a glorified bluegill. I don't know. All right, let's get this spotted hawk inside of here. It's at least, at least it's a different type of fish that we don't have inside. Yeah, it's a whole new species. Look at that dude right there. He's just perched up. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy rip. He's Already probably gonna I'm go. Kinda, I'm kind of loving the view right now. Oh, you liking the view? I mean, I, Brooke, I don't know. I like this fish. It's okay. It's okay. What did you rate it out of 10? Six. Brooke, all right, six, six out, out of 10. 10. Six all right, out of 10 let's let this Brooke. six piece go. All right, buddy, let's see where he's gonna go. This pond is huge. I feel like every time we add a fish, they're he's so gonna perch, brother. They're so Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? He's gone. Okay. All right. He's making his way. He really loves that crushed coral. He likes crushed coral. He loves that crushed coral over there. Well, the hawkfish, I will say, has warmed up to the fish very nicely. He swam all the way from the crushed coral, all the way to the rocks, in the absolute herd of fish. All of the fish are around him. Just all are around him. It's everybody's checking him out, saying hello. The emperor angel just said what's up to him, but he's right underneath that rock there. Jack, fish number two, talk to me, man. It better be better than fish number one, glorified perch. Fish number two is certainly much better than fish number one. Is he? And I want you to guess the, the make. Here we go. Bigger fish. Bigger fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, eh? Is that, that looks like a French angel fish. I said the same thing. It's a gray angel. Let really? me see. Yeah, they look the exact same. Good size too. I'm loving that we're getting some bigger fish. Like in a 125, you kind of want something like that. Getting some bigger fish is much Look nicer. at that. It looks exactly like a French angel. It is a French angel. But it's a gray. Maybe you got a French angel for a deal. Look at the face on that though. Nice, bright yellow head. He's pretty. I think that's a good fish. Look at the blue on the back of his tail. So I guess a French angel has blue under here on the under fins, whatever you call those guys. But this dude doesn't have it, so it's a gray angel. What do you think of that one, Brooke? That's a nicer, that's a 10. Wow, you just got a So 10, 10 plus six, I'm, I'm averaging an eight. You're averaging eight. Okay, so Jack got an pretty, eight average. Pretty poor, and not bad. Dude, that's a nice fish. That's really pretty. Guys, come on. For 80 bucks, that's a good fish. that is a nice fish right there. Let's just adore him right now. He's swimming around really nice. Now let's just look at him on the side where the beauty really lies. Jack, that's a nice fish. I'll give it to you. Look at that, Jack, dude. that's a nice fish. Tell me that's a gorgeous fish. That's a really nice good fish. Good size, really kind of like the emperor we have. That's, that's a, a really that's nice fish. That's a gray angel. That could be better than the French angel. You know why? You were bargaining $10 there. $10 cheaper. For the price, that's a good, that's a good fish. 80 bucks, that's hard to come by at that size. That's hard to come by in general in a fish store, okay? Let me get the net. I like this guy, I I'll give it to you. That's a 10 for me. Look at that guy. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. That's a nice looking that fish. That is a nice looking fish. Wait till he turns on his side. Oh, that's great. That is good. Just wait till he- some big boys in the pond. Wait till he colors up. All right, here you go, buddy. Go on. Yeah, that's 10 out of 10 dime. That's a nice looking fish. Jack, that's a nice fish, man. He he's yet to even see the rocks. There he goes. Oh my God, he's, he was made for the camera too. He was made for- It was a slow pond. spiral down to the bottom, but <laughs> give him some time. <laughs> was made for this pond, bro. That, I think that might be second biggest fish in here. Second biggest fish. Second biggest fish aside for, from Foxy. So the gray angel 
swimming around the pond gracefully. He's actually got some great color. We don't have many super deep, like black fish, except the mollies. So we have him with some yellow stripes, which is good. And then we have our mollies. It's a nice little flavor of color going in here. But they, the, this angel, I've never even seen one of these before. I thought they were all French angels like that. But gray angel, something you never see. I love it, 10 out of 10. I think me. he's gonna love that lettuce that you got. Yeah, I think so he's gonna be a lettuce eater. Look at him. He's I here. think at the end of the video, we, we try to put some Foxy's lettuce. Foxy's going to say hi. Jack has completed his store session with oh. a hawkfish glorified uh, Sand perch. Thank you. Totally, totally demoralized that fish. A knockoff French angel. We can also think of it like that, like you bought fake jewelry. Now we get on to my fish. <sighs> now, just if you guys skipped through the first part of the video, if you guys were just tapping, you just want yeah. to see my fish. Can they can they pause really quick? Pause after I say this. I need you guys to rate one to ten my my fish right now. Go to the comment section, rate it, and then hit play. Okay. Resume. Resume. If you didn't hear what I said earlier, I spent my whole budget on one fish. Okay. My whole budget was spent on one fish, and you guys are gonna love this fish because he's mm -hmm. the biggest fish in this pond by triple the size. Oh. By triple the size. <laughs> Did you go get pots and pans back? This, this is a bad idea. No. I mean, big fish can go with little fish if they're community fish. Yeah, as long as it's community. Okay, he's a community fish. So here we go. Let me grab my bag. Now, as I'm unveiling this fish, this fish is big. And I'm not gonna lie, he reminds me of this guy right here pots and pans. Or this is specifically pots, because pots was a beast in here. If you guys are from way back when, when we had uh, our two big groupers in here, pots was a monster in this pond. And this guy's our, our version of a monster with our new setup here. This fish is the one we talked about a couple videos ago. Dude, I had a, a giant bro. sailfin tank. He doesn't look big in the back. Oh. Wait till I put him in my hand. You cannot tell how big this fish is. Wait till you see him in my hand. It is that gonna blow thing your is mind. Freaking huge! This thing is massive, guys. This thing is massive. He's about this thick. He's so healthy. He Let's came see from, from someone. From under. Can we this... see the thickness on that thing? I don't know. If can you, you really... tell from the? Yeah, no. I mean, maybe we'll tell when we get him in the bucket. We can see from the overhead view. Like, that is a refrigerator. He's this thick. He's this thick. This fish is a beast, and he's gonna be the biggest fish in here, and he's gonna look awesome. So the king of the tank is about to go in. He came from someone's personal aquarium, according to the store. So that's when you know, if a fish came from someone else's like personal program, they're usually way bigger and really healthy. So here we go. Oh, let's get this boy in the bucket. Holy Dude, he's just done. He's just, he's just done. Trust me. Trust that me. thing's a freaking tank, dude. Look at the gut on that thing. Look at how fat and round that freaking fish is right there. That is ridiculous. That blows Foxy out of the water in terms of the size and of the, of the shoulders on that guy. That guy has some traps. So my man right here is a sailfin tank. You guys can see how thick this guy is. That looks like a dump truck fish. So I'll show you guys right now how he looks in my hand. He's gonna look way bigger than what you think. This is with, without him extended. Look at how big he is without him extended. He's covering over my whole hand. I don't wanna take him fully out of the water because this guy's big. I wanna make sure he's doing great. So just wanted to turn him on his side, but turn him on his side, he can cover, if he was in the center of my palm here, he could cover my whole hand if his, if his uh, fins were up like that. So this fish is a beast. You can tell probably a lot better when we put him in. So let's get this guy in the pond. That's a fridge. I don't know what we're gonna name him, but that's another thing. We need names dropped down in the comments and who you think won this fish shopping challenge. I think this guy takes the cake. He's a beast. Here he goes. Look at him. Oh. Barely fits in the net, dude. This guy's a stud. This guy's a stud. Okay, I'm gonna let him go, but I want him to go the other way. So here he goes. Look at that freaking tang. He's huge. Holy crap. He's a beast, dude. He's a beast in this in this pond. Are you kidding me? That thing is massive. That is that is a I think megalodon. It's just a stress. Now he does look brown right now because he obviously just went to through a transfer process. But as oh, you can see, he's opened. He's opened. He's opening up a bit. And at the store, he was like very like almost white-ish yellow with great looking stripes. So he's definitely gonna get a lot more lighter in color and he'll look a lot better once he gets less stress. But this guy is awesome looking. He's a beast and I am so excited to see him in the pond. And he's clearly the biggest fish. He is triple the size of Foxy. He is looking like a, a flat poop though. No, but he's gonna just wait. Till I know, he, he's got to color up. Wait till he colors up, he's gonna look great. I do remember the last time we were there, that's why he was definitely much more white and yellow. But that is, that's an Earl. That's like a, a literal perfect size fish. It's a beast fish, dude. Perfect size fish. If we can get a queen angel that size, woo, 
Shiver me timbers. That'd wait, be nice. Just, just wait. He might be the biggest fish now, but wait till like these fish get bigger because they're growing fast as they eat like a like champs. They're all gonna be that size and it's gonna be awesome. Chris is definitely a little worried. His fish came in, you know, it was a beautiful cake that he, that he bought from the store, but once it arrived to the party, it was smashed, it yeah. was ruined. These people have no patience. They, they say, Brooke said it was a nine fish, okay? But wait till he gets his color back in about an hour, okay? So you guys have seen the fish. We're rolling footage over it now of how it looks when he's uh, comfortable in the pond. I think he looks great, okay? So you judge down in the comments, a big sail of the tank. <laughs> He's huge. He's huge. huge. I'm just looking at him from afar. I'm like, that is a whale of a tang. I don't think I've ever seen a tang any bigger. Dude, he's a whale. That. Look, look at the size of this thing. Holy crap. Oh, he's charging. He loves it in here. He's, he's like, like, I can swim. I can like, swim. I got so much space in here. He swims so weird. Doesn't use the back. He swims like this. I can swim. Pumping those fins, dude. Damn. Look, see, he's getting his color back a little bit. He's a little bit more yellow. Well, guys, you make the decision down in the comments. Team Chris. Team Jack. That was a great battle. Great match. I would love to do this video I'd again. I'd love to do that more. Once again, if you guys uh, want to throw your ideas of what we should film down in the comments, like this was a great idea, so shout out to the commenter. And uh, we're open to any suggestions that you guys want to see. We'll see you in the next one. Later. Rock on.